Hey guys, this is Patty B within the hauler. I got another firearm I'd like to share with y'all. This is the Steyr M9A2, chambered in nine millimeter Parabellum. Go ahead and clear it and clear. The uh, Steyr M9A2 is a uh, polymer frame striker fired semi-auto pistol that feeds from 17 round detachable magazines. The uh, A2 is an upgrade of the original M9, um, which mostly is uh, cosmetic stuff. Got this nice texture on the script right here, and uh, it's now a modular frame, so you can pull the uh, innards out and change frames. Uh, I think that's the biggest upgrades between the original M9 and the M9A2. Uh, Steyr also makes this pistol. They make the you know they make the M9 like this one, but a C9 and a L9, which is just different sizes. The M is for medium, and you've got compact and large. Uh, the M9, this version here, is basically uh, like Glock 19 X size. Got a four inch barrel, which, uh, you know, is Glock 19 size, but you have a 17 round magazine, you know, similar to like the uh, Glock 17. Now, this pistol weighed uh, 27 ounces with an empty mag on my scale. So we'll go over some of the features on this. Yeah, the texture on the uh, A2 version is definitely really nice and you can replace both the sides and the back strap to make it fit your hand a little better. It does have some really nice texture up here though. Uh, magazine release, um, not much to say about it. It's, it's actually pretty nice, it doesn't stick out too far, but it's also nice and easy to, to uh, depress. And uh, it's reversible, you can put it on this side. The uh, slide lock slide release is not ambi though, so lefties, you know, I guess you're out of luck on that one. This has a really, really high beaver tail um, and an undercut here. And you can really, really get your hand super high on this pistol. This thing sits about as low in your hand as uh, any pistol I've ever shot. Um, I haven't shot this one yet, but I'm looking forward to it because I love, I love when guns sit low in my hand. And uh, this one sits as low as any of them. We'll go ahead and try the trigger out on this thing. It's got a Glock style dingus. Pull that little take up. And not too bad. Uh, feels lighter than a factory Glock to me. See the reset right there. It's super quiet. You can't really hear it or feel it, but it's right there. And there you go. Oh, uh, you got a nice rail out here on the front, putting your lights and lasers and whatever else you want on there. Uh, look at the slide. You know, you've got some uh, forward serrations, rear serrations, and then we get to the sights. That's one of the most unique things about the uh, Steyr M9 is these trapezoidal sights. If you've never seen them before, they're definitely unique. And uh, you know, I've never shot any like these, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. But you've got this pyramid triangle, whatever you want to call it up front, and then this angled looking rear, and you just kind of line them up. And I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to shoot. Um, you know, I've just been playing with it and dry firing it, and I can't decide if I like them or not. So I guess we won't know until we actually uh, get out there and go shoot it. But this thing definitely feels good in your hand. The trigger is pretty nice. So, you know, hopefully we shoot it well. Uh, we'll hit the disassembly real quick, uh, super easy. Of course, always make sure she's clear. And then you've got this button here, which uh, this, it comes with a tool where you stick two prongs in here and you can actually um, turn it to like safe mode and then this thing can't fire. But it's also a button you can push to rotate your lever down. And then with your lever down, slide forward, pull the trigger and comes right off. We'll give you a look in here, you got recoil spring guide rod. And there's your barrel. Give you a nice good look in here. Machining looks great. It definitely looks like it's quality. We'll give you a look inside here. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to shooting this thing. It's definitely, you know, at least with the sights, a little quirky. Um, and I'm not sure how it's going to go, but this pistol definitely feels good in your hand. Sits nice and low and it's got a good trigger, so should be able to shoot it at least decent. We'll see if we can get used to those sights. But uh, other than that, you know, it's just a, you know, Glock 19 X size pistol. There's a bunch out there and, you know, it's a, a lot of competition in this size, but we'll see how this thing does. Well, let's take this bad boy outside and ring a little steel. All right, let's take our first shots with the uh, Steyr M9.
All right. Nice. Pinch my glove in there. All right, up here on the deck, about uh, 15 yards, we'll take some shots with the styre, see how we can do. Once you kind of get used to those sights, it's uh, they're not terrible, just different. Oh, you're shooting it pretty well. You're getting used to those sights. Yeah, it's very nice. It's getting a little bit more intuitive once you figure out where to put the dot. Gotcha. For the triangle. Cool. All right, we'll try a little farther out. I got a plate right here at uh, 25 yards and a plate at 40. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, stretch out the uh, Steyr M9. All right, couple misses in there, but uh, you know she's shooting pretty good. All right, we're back inside from shooting the, the Shire and uh, clear. Uh, definitely an interesting pistol. You know, I was pretty excited to uh, get this and do some shooting with it just because it's kind of unique and kind of different. You know, it's kind of got this raked angle on the grip and those pretty crazy looking sights. Um, and this thing is definitely unique. I didn't shoot it as well as I would wish I, that I would have. Uh, it's not that I shot it poor, but I feel like uh, most other guns in this category, G19 size stuff, I feel like I shoot better. I like it, I really do. I don't know that I can love it. I just, I don't shoot as well as I'd like to, and maybe that's just me, I need to practice more. But uh, yeah, I'm just not shooting great with it. The sights, maybe that's what gets me, or maybe it's the, uh, the grip angle's a little weird. The trigger is pretty nice. Usually when something fits good in my hand, which this does, and has a good trigger, which this does, I tend to shoot it well, and I shot this okay, just didn't shoot it great. And uh, you know, I've got plenty of other guns that I shoot great, so I'm not sure where that leaves this, but uh, 
you know, we put well, about 400 rounds through this thing today. And, uh, you know, no malfunctions. It ran like a top. You know, it's a Steyr. This is a quality firearm. I just don't know if this one's for me. Shot it good. Didn't shoot it great. Plenty of pistols that, you know, that I can just shoot better than I shoot with this one. So, not sure where that leaves this. Um, but you know what? Maybe this one shoots good for you. Maybe you don't shoot other pistols well. And, you know, this might be the might be the deal for you. This The texture on it's so nice. It feels so good in your hand. So many good things about it. But, uh... You know, this didn't shoot as good as I'd like. Uh, definitely a, uh, a cool pistol, though. And, you know, it was a fun day shooting. You know, beautiful snowy day out here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, had a lot of fun. Me and an archer put a bunch of rounds through it. So it was definitely a good time. Uh, you know, and he thought the same thing. He's like, man, that's a cool pistol. I just wish I saw it a little better. So, well, there you go, guys. Steyr M9. Y'all have a nice day.